Hello, my name is Florence with Airwolf 3D. We are here today at Cerritos College to interview Professor Mickey. Hello, how are you? Hello, very well, thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Um, so, I know you teach a couple things here at Cerritos. Um, what, which courses specifically do you use? Yeah, for well, beginners? I am here, Professor and Department Chair for the Department of Engineering, Technology and New Products Development. How long have you been using our printers? My first printer that I purchased from you was about uh, three years ago, and that was this one here, which okay. we still use. Awesome. Yes, so it was one of the first models that you have, and right now our workhorse is your new Axiom. So. Awesome. What are some of your favorite features on the Axiom? Well, the Axiom differs from any other 3D printers currently at the market in the professional consumer's price range right. by the fact that it is actually a fully enclosed system that seems to have a way better dynamics behavior than the other systems out there because it used the, because it used the different configuration of right. the drivetrain and thereby have much lesser back, backslash and seems to produce uh, parts which are exactly on resolution wise and accuracy and you know, keeping tolerances similar like with the machines which are at least an order of magnitude more expensive like yeah. the entry level professional systems. Um, what are your students most eager to accomplish with 3D printing? Well, many of my students are also an inventor. Oh, wow. And the inventions range from like people who are developing a very simple toy or some or some simple hand tools up to a people who are developing another type of 3D printers or who are developing uh, complex machineries or like the robotic drink dispenser, which right. we have right now <laughs> in a progress. And we also have uh, several people who are interested in uh, developing actually an ultralight aircraft. So. Um, what challenges or opportunities for 3D printing do you see in the near future? Well, this really should drive the next industrial revolution. You know, actually the paradigmic change in a society because of the ability really to materialize the object from an idea and from the abstract form in a computer to a physical part, you know, yeah. in, in within a very short amount of time, you know, will essentially be the base foundation for the next industrial revolution. Thank you so much for having us here, Dr. Mickey. It was a pleasure, and good luck with everything in the future. Thank you for coming, and thank you for providing us with those beautiful machines.